in um, Florence, Mississippi. Um, I guess pot's legal here because I've passed by like six dispensaries already. Uh, yeah, it's um, yeah. You see it very um, very yeah. Well, okay, so we're coming up on a milestone because we always do things in round numbers in uh, the Western world. We're about to hit 2,000 miles of driving in um, somewhere in Mississippi. Um, yeah, up in McLean, McLean, Mississippi. So in McLean, Mississippi, when this is when that thing flips over to. 383, 182, 383, there it is, yay, 2,000 miles, wow, knock on wood, all right, yeah, well, we did, we've done 2,000 miles so far, and um, the fourth day of driving, and it's, um, yeah, but yeah, so there's the milestone, and uh, we're supposed to be in Mobile, Alabama in 57 minutes. So, yeah, this has been uh, been good so far. Drivers in Mississippi are kind of weird. Um, I've had two people just tailgate me for no apparent reason. Uh, maybe they were confused by the lack of a tag, as they say down here. I don't know. Uh, kind of confusing. But, uh, oh well. Yay, 2,001 miles now. Yay. All right, so only like 600 more to go. Yippee. All right, so we're now gonna be starting on day five. We're in, uh, we're leaving out of Mobile, Alabama. We're filling up with some gas. They'll get us to Perry, I guess. So we've been doing great, almost 26 miles to the gallon on the computer, which has been pretty accurate. And um, yeah, it's been really good. So, uh, yeah, it's pretty amazing how far across the country you can come, and I'll have more thoughts on uh, this trip as we get deeper into Florida. So, hopefully we can avoid rain the entire time, since we don't know how good the roof really is. But yeah, day, day five, and I can't, I can't wait to get home and start working on my charger, because it needs it. But yeah. The only thing I think I have to check the EVAP system in this because I can't pump it fast. And it used to have a problem in Vegas where it got really hot. It would kind of go, the whole dash would light up because I think that the, it wasn't able to vent the fumes properly and it fills real slow. So we'll look at that when we get to uh, home for the next few weeks. All right, I want it upward. All right, I really wish my window mount was working, but uh, it's, this is so cool because in Mobile, as they say, they uh, they have a tunnel. You can either take the bridge across the bay or the tunnel. Oh, wow! I haven't been in a tunnel in a long, well since Vegas. But this is like the southernmost tunnel I know. <laughs> Just I don't know if there's any. There are no tunnels in Florida. Because, well, water. Wow, here, hold the camera forward. So, yeah, now we're in a tunnel. Oh, man. Freaking cold. If you put down the window, <laughs> make, make car noises in the tunnel. long bridge across Mobile Bay. Gage just decided to 
not enjoy this very much. See the gauges, they, uh, they've, they've just gone to, they've gone to sleep again. And then they come back. <laughs> and there's the battleship. That, that's the USS Alabama. And they have a car show over there. One, they try to make it the next year or two to get to that car show. Since now I have a great hotel to stay at the Drury Inn in Mobile, Alabama. What an absolutely wonderful place. So yeah, this is uh, kind of fascinating stuff when you come to Mobile. <laughs> and it's a nice concrete expansion bridge. Feels great. But yeah, so yeah, in, um, I think in the fall they had the battleship show. And uh, that's a really cool thing to go to. Or is it the spring? I forgot when, but I know they had this show here. Alright, we'll go down the road a bit. Well, before my final thoughts, you know, I, I, if you got anything out of this, any entertainment, anything that makes you bring a smile, you know, please subscribe. Also, like, like these videos because it helps, it helps videos like mine end up being in your feed so you see things that you enjoy, which is car stuff, obviously. And, of course, comment. I love comments. I, I respond to comments, and um, they make you know they make it very seem much more like a community, and I enjoy that. So, all right, let me go summarize this car, this car trip. Okay, so I've actually done it. I d drove 2,550 miles without a license plate on a car, just with a piece of paper on the dash, and did not get stopped once. Uh, would I ever do that drive ever again? Maybe. It, uh, it's exhausting, and it took five days. There's no way around it. Uh, if without you know without killing yourself, it takes five days. Texas is just massive. Um, the car was mostly great, except for the last ten miles as I got into the horrible traffic near where I live. The worst place, actually, the worst of all the areas I drove in 2,500 miles where I live is garbage. Utter and absolute garbage. It took me 25 minutes to go five miles, and the car hated it. There's something wrong with the car. It developed about about two hours before we got here, where it won't launch at all. Um, it's running really, really rough at idle, and uh, it, it could be a throttle position sensor, hopefully, or maybe fuel injectors are finally clogged up. Don't know. We turned it off and it sputtered and it hacked and did all sorts of really ugly things. But as a whole, it's a 29 year old car with the original engine in it that's 100 and now 182,800 and something miles. And it got us here. It averaged 25 miles to the gallon over all the different terrain and all the different driving. Didn't use any oil, didn't lose any coolant. The air conditioner stayed cold. It was loaded to the gills with stuff in the trunk and you know inside. I mean, you saw how full this car was inside. It is full. You know, there's something to be said about the engineering on these 90s BMWs. I mean, granted, the interiors are cheap junk. Uh, and they absolutely don't hold up, but the drivetrains in them are very reliable. It's pretty impressive, and these are these are becoming a classic, almost as quickly as my E30, which is even a simpler car than my 89 325i. But as a whole, it was a good car. It was it was decent for the trip. 
I just um, hope that, you know, whatever's wrong with that can fix very easily so that we can have the assistant start driving it a little bit because she's of age to start driving. And to learn a stick shift, very important because you need to have that skill. And when it's running right, this stick is very easy to drive. So, you know, with that, I'm, I'm glad you guys came along on this journey. It was, uh, it was long. It was exhausting. But it was, in the end, it was very fun. I saw things that I thought I'd never see, been places I thought I'd never go. And I'm very excited about that. You know, this is a very, very large, beautiful country that, should be seen. Uh, there were many things that, you know, I didn't know existed or I'd read about and going and seeing and touching them and being there in person was very impressive because I had a friend that had passed away last year. And, uh, you know, he always said, if not now, when, and you should really think about that when you do things in life, because I see a lot of people, they, they have a car and I'll fix it one day. Well, I'll go here one day, and honestly, that's really not a way to live. You, sometimes she has to go, I just got to go do it. So I'm, I, I'm glad, and, you know, if I did it, I would do it in something bigger, and uh, something I've gone through, and then, I, yeah, I would probably do it again. I don't know if I'd do it both ways because that'd be like over 5,000 miles. Yeah. But definitely the one-way trip would be fun. Yeah. So, she, uh, let's just walk around. I mean, and she held up pretty well. Even had tire flying at me at 70 miles an hour. It's all, geez, half the interior is empty now and with no plate so there we there we go and there is our validation from from Nevada you know with the uh, walking on a tripod she held up nice. And, you know, once again, though, thank you. And you know, if you have a classic car or something kind of cool, you know, this is a classic, actually. But even a sports car or anything that's fun, take it out. You'll make someone's day, including your own. And I'll catch you down the road. Thanks for watching.